Hello painters! Welcome to my studio. I'm Beth Wheeler and I am here for Earth Safe Finishes uh, Eco Pour Kit. We're going to be working on this beautiful heart-shaped um, canvas today. I ordered it from Amazon but I have to warn you it's not very nice quality. It's loose, it's on a medium density fiberboard on the back and look here they did not fill in the um, the crutch in the heart. So I'm going to try painting that with white and then and see if we can kind of conceal that and still use it. If not, um, it will be nice uh, in a photograph, but uh, it'll have to go. We're starting with Earth Safe Finishes Eco Pour Kit today, which includes the, the acrylic base and the pouring medium. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have a little bit of the um, eco, the uh, acrylic base in the bottom of this, maybe, oh, two tablespoons or so. And I'm going to add a couple of drops of carbolized violet. And that's going to make a vivid purple. Okay, and once I have that, the pigment mixed up with the acrylic base, then I'm going to add the pouring medium. And um, before we use each one of these, we're going to shake them up really well. And that's so the product is the same consistency at the bottom of the, of the bottle as it is at the top. Because this is formulated to um, form the perfect consistency of paint for acrylic pouring. So I've added about four parts of the acrylic, of the pouring medium, excuse me, to one part of the acrylic base. And I'm mixing it up really well. And that's why we wear gloves. Because I really don't want to have purple hands for the next couple of days. The pigments are very concentrated so if you get them on skin or um, clothing, um, it's pretty permanent. It takes a, a while to wear off the skin. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do with this purple is add a couple of drops of the Earth Safe Finishes silicone. And the silicone is what encourages the formation of the cells in our pores. So here's my canvas. I have purple, I've already mixed up orange and the red, and I need to put the silicone in there. And again, it's just a couple of drops, and then we're going to stir very lightly. We're not going to stir very much. And this all works on uh, paint densities. We layer these in the cup, and then when we flip the cup or pour the cup, the heavier paints fall, the lighter paints rise, and as they pass one another, they work around those uh, droplets of silicone and create um, the cells. So I also have the white mixed up, and this is um, mixed up for regular pouring strength, and I'm going to paint that notch in there, see if we can cover up that spot. And then we're going to... I want a nice juicy base on this canvas because we're going to start try um, a swipe in these colors and we're going to swipe with white. So I have white in another container and you'll notice I have the containers look very different so I can tell them apart. So if I'm grabbing something quickly I won't grab the wrong, the wrong one. And I'm going to use a frosting spreader to smooth this out because I want a nice juicy base that will help the paints move and make their magic and I'm kind of putting the paint on the sides too that makes a nice uh, finished edge and it gives um, 
the owner the option of framing or not framing and especially on this heart I think it would be difficult to uh, get somebody to frame that it would probably be very expensive so we're going to paint the edges okay and now we're going to start layering for the swipe and we're just putting small puddles of the paint randomly around the canvas and the puddles don't have to be the same size I really like orange and purple together I know some people uh, think they turn muddy but I haven't had trouble with that I just enjoy the colors and how they react to one another And it looks kind of chaotic right now, but when we get ready to swipe, it's all going to come together. Okay, maybe I need a little more purple in there, huh? Okay, now I'm going to drizzle a little bit of the white on top. And you can tell it's a much thinner consistency than, than the other white. And then we're now ready to swipe. Ooh, I like, that's pretty. Even without swiping, that's pretty. Okay, so we're gonna use a swiper and I'm gonna use a larger um, frosting knife this time. And we're just gonna try, ooh, look at those cells pop up. Oh, I like that. Mama likes. Okay. Now I want to add a few design lines. So this isn't all just serendipity, and I'm about out of red paint, so do it in orange, I guess. Do it in orange. Okay, isn't that pretty? I love the, the cells in there, that's really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get you down without too much bouncing around and get it close so you can see the cells. Okay, and we'll be back to see what this is like after it's dried. Okay, we're back. The paint has dried and you can see our design lines has, have shifted a bit. They aren't where we left them. And you always take that chance when you're working with uh, acrylic pouring. And I didn't check the surface with a level to make sure it was absolutely level. So some of my um, my design lines and my cells have um, shifted and that ends up being very serendipitous but the colors are still there they're still looking beautiful um, this has a few more days before I of curing before I can clean the silicone off and then uh, varnish it and that will be the end of this beautiful Valentine is when it finally has that varnish on and it looks shiny and beautiful. So happy Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed this. Please click the like and subscribe buttons below and I'll see you next time. Happy painting!